Well, welcome back to another Wednesday tequila review from your boys at the Buffalo Happy Hour. Today, we have Mezcal Illegal Joven. Joven? Joven? Yeah, Joven with, Joven. Uh, with uh, John Rexer, which we'll touch on in two seconds, or in Ooh. this case, Un Momento. Uh, John Pablo Rexer? Quick shout out to Addie's for allowing us to try this spirit. If anybody doesn't know what Addie's is, Addie's is a liquor store located in Williamsville, up the street from Neat. So, Addie's, thank you so much. Uh, for those that are interested in Addie's, based off of that quick little spiel, make sure you download their app on the Apple App Store and the Google Playground Play Store so that you can check their inventory. They have a knowledgeable staff in house wine sommelier, a massive selection, and if you are local within the state of New York, meaning commas, they can ship spirits to your doorstep. So, check it out, see what you think. And Derek, let's try some interesting tequila with a dark, uh, profound history. Mezcal Eli Galhoven. John Rexer. He was living in New York during the terrorist attacks of 9-11. And following that event, he says that the city changed and a dark cloud descended over the once vibrant culture and he wanted to escape. So he hit the road starting in Mexico and eventually ended up in Antigua. Guatemala in 2003 nearly broke and desperate he decided to open a dive bar in Antigua that featured live music and most importantly no televisions. The bar he founded was called Cafe No Say and it sported not only a main bar with a live music stage but also an attached mezcal bar and a bookshop. It quickly became one of the most beloved bars in the entire city. So while business was booming he needed to supply his bar with spirits in which case he had been bringing in unbranded mezcal from other regions, but in 2006 he decided to start his own brand specifically to stock his own bar and focusing on using sustainable production methods. Smart business idea. Yep. So that brand uh, became known as Illegal, which... Illegal. Illegal, which is why each bottle says on the back label, originally produced for Cafe No Say Mezcal Bar. The brand remains independently owned, okay, despite a minority ownership purchased... Uh, by Bacardi in 2017. So, John made some cash uh, while maintaining integrity of what he's doing. So now they use the spirit uh, specifically because of the casks where let's see. Mm, it started with doers and they had their cask finishing of an Irish whisk, obviously, and most people have never heard of this brand before until then. That blending process with the two, and then it opened up their... Uh, so what I'm trying to say. Opened up their curiosity to try it. So we'll see what this tastes like. So what is... This is in a Blanco. This is... What is this? Should be on there. The knob is on the back, too. Except the knob didn't pull up on the app. So it's so just I'm a still, Mezcal. I'm it's still just, working on that. It's just called Mezcal. Let's Perfect. pop it. All right. Well, let's see if we can get through this friggin'. Do we need a wine cork to open this up? No, use one of these. Oh, I broke it. Okay, we got it. We got it. Oh, oh yeah. Noise. I mean, uh, opening process would, was relatively fun. I don't know if I like the uh, the wax all on the corks. I felt like when I was breaking it off, I almost broke the cork in half. But I guess that's uh, neither here nor there. Anyway, what do you what do you think of the label? Fairly simple. It's got that burnt parchment look to it. Makes me thirsty, to be honest with you. There's uh, nothing, like, crazy from a graphic standpoint on it, though. No. And I, this is one of the bottles that isn't, like, really cool. We correct. were talking about how they kind of lack a little bit of a label a design lackluster. and more intricate bottle design. Mm -hmm. This doesn't do anything for me. C+. Plus. C+. Plus. I, agree, I, agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. All right. Let's get into the nose. The long neck on her, huh? Like the giraffe of tequila bottles, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Chill. All right. Nose. Ooh. Ooh. There's some wood sugars in there, dude. This is 80 proof. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. 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 This isn't a product that was aged with. Uh-uh. Yeah. This is just a regular... It looks like a Blanco. I mean, it's white. It looks like it just came out the sill. looks like a Blanco, bro. You can get you know, a lot of that molasses, a little bit of like a sharp um, pepper. I'm going B-plus on the nose, though. Tell the people what you're smelling. 
There's a little bit of a floral note to it, too. Yeah, a little floral, a little molasses, a little uh, licorice-type accent to it. There's some fruit, and then I'm also picking up the sugar, which is super enticing, in my opinion. You get a little bit of that, like, anise, that candied oh. anise or candied... It's a nice nose. Kind of like a ginger, too, a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to compliment it. It's a nice nose. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm going to go B+. I'll go... Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll meet okay. you there. Okay. B+. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree. Initial agree. taste. The initial. Yo, there's smoke to it, bro. There's like smoke and yeah, it's, a, it's a, it is definitely a little bit smoky because this is a mezcal. That makes sense. It does taste a little like wood fire, w like campfirey. It's almost like the High West version, you know. No, mm -hmm. yeah, you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Swell. Loving it. What else are you getting? Anything? The smoke just kind of consumed the entire initial taste. So it's almost like I have to wait for the ending note to talk about anything else that you taste during this experience. But so far, the smoke is just like, hey, I don't. It punches you right in the mouth. And then you almost... I mean, that's pretty much it. It kind of like overwhelms the whole experience. The initial taste very, taste very thin. The, the smoke kind of consumes you, kind of like you just ate something charred off the grill. Like the liquid is thin? Yeah. Mm. Because sometimes I get tequila that is very uh, syrupy, and that molasses kind of takes over. I get that coagulation in the ending, though, which we'll talk about in a second. But the initial taste kind of goes down super thin, super fast. You get that smoke that overpowers it, and a little bit of like a sweetness, like a candied sugar. Cane sugar molasses on the on the initial taste. Do you feel like the initial taste is quick? Like what you were, yeah. So like what you were saying, it's quick, and then all of a sudden it just like groups into one bobsled yeah. team. Yeah, like right at the back of my mouth. Yeah. Like the first when it hits your tongue, it's thin, and then as it's going back, it's just like, and you can't breathe. This is wild. So when you try this, you get the. It's almost like something got shot out of a cannon. Okay. And I want it, I want you guys to picture a bobsled team. So they got a really, really good start. And all of a sudden, all their like they're all jumping in. They all put their handles down, okay. And then they're riding down the chute. That's basically what this is. And then all of a sudden, it becomes a one wall. unit. Oh. And then they no. Then they just jump right down the rest of the slide. And then you don't know what happened. It's gone. And then all you get is the smoke about how fast they just ran down. Like it's so weird. And then the smoke consumes your mouth, and you're like, wow, that was really smoky. And then where did all the fluid go? Like, it was just one cohesive team that bonded together and then slid right down your gullet. And you have no clue what's happening. I did not know where you were going with that at first. I can see where you went there now. Yeah. It's like you, it's the full experience of a round leaving a barrel. Like, you see it, you see the round leave, and then all of a sudden you see the smoke on the back end, and then you taste the smoke, and then the bullet's already gone. And you're yeah. like, what happened? It's the same thing with the, I just wanted it to be a little more PC, so I'm a bobsled team because everyone likes the Olympic sport or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, and what's that, what's that movie? Rush something? The Jamaican team? Rimba? Oh. No, no, no. The, the famous. I have no idea. Come on. We'll anyway, talk about it during so, the weekly yeah. episode. So you got that, like, thinness up front, and then that kind of co combines, and then at the middle of your tongue it starts coagulating and it starts getting thick. And Pause. I think that's where the, like, all of that, like, molasses is starting to kind of catch up to you. Yeah, but it's it's not unpleasant at any point. It's just enjoyable throughout. I got to look up Jamaican bobsled movie because that's going to drive me insane if I don't say it to the cool runnings. Thank you. Great movie. Super close to Rush. Um, yeah, do better, so Derek. initial taste, what are, you, what are you getting for the initial taste? I'm going to go B. The smoke is pretty much all you get. And then it kind of, you know, the ending note is really the more dynamic piece to this. Yeah. So for me, it's a B. This tastes like smoked licorice, I guess. That's probably the best. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. And I will go with... I'll go B too. I'm not already then. Uh, ending note. That's where we'll get to the real stuff. AKA not much. The real meat and potatoes. All right. Taters. So now you got this. Now you, <laughs> tater. So now you got this coagulated unit that's starting to slide down your gullet. Pause. And 
you're picking up more of the not as much as the smoke, but you get more of the sugars, you get more of the the licorice, and then you get this pleasant experience of ah, it's still a tequila. And I think that distinction is what makes this worth trying and enjoying. Would make a mean cocktail. Mean cocktail. You know, I'm not I'm not a big fan of this ending note. Because <clears throat> I'm getting some of that, like... What's wrong? Ending burnt wood on the back. Some molasses. It starts to, like I said, coagulate and get a little bit syrupy. And it makes my mouth feel weird. Because <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> because it feels dry, but also like I'm phlegmy. And I'm not a huge fan of that ending taste. Like that ending feeling in my mouth. So we're... Pause. Pause. So, so where are you at? Like a B? No, I'm probably at like a C plus. C pl- I'll meet you I, at a C plus. I'll compromise. I, that's fine. Well, that, that's not a compromise then. That's you listening to me. Welcome to marriage. <laughs> are we married? It's gonna be okay. Yeah. I, I really, I really like that initial taste. That smokiness. Obviously, a huge Scotch fan. I love the smokiness of this. To me, the ending note is just like, all right, back to reality. You're drinking something tequila. Let's bring back hard that sugar that coagulation that molasses that thickness and i'm just not those two together didn't do anything for me so i'm gonna go c plus at the end i'm excited for this final rating then so give me that countdown derek three two one 81. 85 all right so 83 yep i mean it's really i don't know how i literally don't know how i did that math um because it's four that was easy well, <laughs> Normally you say it that quick, and this time you just happen to be right. Let's be real. Remember, like, 81.5. I'm like, not at all close. No faith, no confidence. <laughs> we even went to college together, and he still yeah. doesn't appreciate. I mean, it was all right. Sometimes I'm intelligent. This is Here's the thing. Swing over to Addy's and pick this up. It's, it's definitely worth the experience. I don't even remember uh, price point. It's on their website. Okay, Google and Google it. Uh, search it on their app, and then you'll see it. Worth it. I like how dynamic tequilas are from, like, no smoke to smoke. And then if you're a whiskey drinker like we are, more so than beer, in my opinion, I think we're more whiskey than beer drinkers. Mm-hmm. The What's nice is that you can kind of pair certain tequilas with what your whiskey tastings uh, uh, prefer preferations are. Preferences. Pre- preferations. Preferations. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to take back everything I just said about being somewhat intelligent. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. the yeah the preferences to whiskey you can pair with a tequila, and it's just so much fun to dive down this rabbit hole. Swing over to Eddie's and check it out, and then swing over to next week. We're going to be wearing the same clothes. We're going to be reviewing this guy. So we'll dive into it, and uh, I mean not literally because it's not the Magic School Bus, but we'll. That'd be cool. I should probably edit that. That'd be sweet, right? Yeah, edit us diving. That's into a nice this. thumbnail too. Yeah, thumbnail. So we'll uh, Thumbnail. we'll make it work. We'll make it work. So we'll see you next week. Uh, Derek, take us out. Please remember, if you do pick this up, to always drink responsibly. Big person. Do not let him. We're out.